Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show, and welcome back to uh, one of my favorite guests that I have here. She's got a new stand-up special on Netflix. It's her fourth stand-up special, and um, it, you know, a best-selling author, and uh, maybe the uh, creation of two broke girls helped pay for the robot to her, right? <laughs> She is none other than Whitney Cummings. Good to see you, Yeah, do you Whitney. think success has changed me at all? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is you're you're sitting in the, the A position guest seat, and to your right is a remarkable lookalike. It's like a Penn and Teller situation. <laughs> actually, we have Penn coming on on Friday, do actually. You? Yes, we have Penn I, to I mean, does Friday. he need a new teller? Because she's available. <laughs> she, oh, well, I mean, she's it's, a really, chattier. it's really up to you, because I think that she's going everywhere you're going right she now. She is. And by the way, I take offense at the fact that one of your cameramen called her a dummy. How dare you? Is that true? Did he just somebody went, actually... Goes, Go sit next to the dummy. What? The dummy. <laughs> Fully functioning robot that thinks and talks and that you can have sex with. Nobody has yet. <laughs> But to the highest bidder, you may take her virginity. Chris just looked a little too excited. He, or he's looking underneath the desk yeah, for some for reason right now. Yeah, I was going to see how much money I had in my wallet. <laughs> Look out. $8 Trust final me, offer. I, I would We're like good. to give Sarah the night off, actually. So how do we have a... a how do I, <laughs> Sorry. And here I was attempting to ask a legitimate question. Uh, uh, how, uh, where did the Cubs jersey come from that's on your robot lookalike? Okay, so I'm from Washington, D.C. Yes, you are. The Orioles are our team. <laughs> <laughs> the Nats and the Orioles are definitely, yes. Something. Okay, yeah, so yeah, right. I don't understand. The PR on the D.C. baseball, not so good. Yeah. So my uh, fiancé is in a Cubs fan, so I got okay. a Cubs jersey with my name on the back. Okay. And we're on a sports show, the sports show, so I said, put that bitch in a Cubs jersey. <laughs> and here she is. <laughs> Even though you probably hate the Cubs. You're a Yankees fan. I am a Yankees fan, but I respect the Cubs. I respect, okay. I respect how long your fiancé had to wait. <laughs> yeah, good point. Not just you. It's a, if I meant the Cubs, by the can way. Can I tell you if when you're looking for a possible mate, patience is key. Yes. So that's why I liked. I wanted to marry a Cubs fan. Right. Exactly. The because wait. the wait over a hundred years. He's a patient man, and being married to me, you have to be very patient. So now, um, is she? Her, her name is Whitney as well, or her name is Bearclaw. <laughs> Uh, if you watch the special, you'll know why. She talks. You can ask her questions. She okay. can fully talk. Okay. What do you got right here? How are the Jets? How are the Jets? Mm -hmm. um, you know what? So do I answer Do I answer this I to you? <laughs> you hear that you, you, if you hold that up closer to your microphone, what was, uh -oh. that, what was that last part right there? Not the even Levine Bell can help the rich. <laughs> We tried to program in Levine Bell. I don't think it <laughs> sounded right. Is that how it's wait, pronounced? Wait, say that again. Is it Le'Veon Bell? Hold on. What was it? Not even Levine Bell can help them, Rich. That's <laughs> close. Close enough. Levine Bell, Levine Bell, I think, might be the CFO of the New York Jets. I think robots are racist because they can't pronounce that name. Okay. <laughs> but you can fully talk to her. You can ask her questions. She has okay. all kinds of questions. Okay, what do we Chris, got? can we talk about the fact that your favorite movie is You've Got Mail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris, can we talk about the fact that your favorite movie is You've Got Mail? Can we do sure, that? Sure, it's a great movie. But wh why your favorite movie? It's not my favorite See, movie. The fact is, is that he, he, he loves the film because it reminds him of a very special time in his life or a time, would you say, that... Was where you you were you were, my mom you were surprised me. Yeah, my mom surprised me my freshman year on a college, on a weekend, you were a little and we homesick. went and saw the movie, and so I just kind of like it. I think and of her. So when now I the fact the, movie. the fact though that I keep trying to make it sound like it's his favorite movie <laughs> no, is, is now the joke. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's okay, really, it's really caught she, on too. It's now the joke. She's got other questions. Okay, well, Rich, when are you to getting hair implants? <laughs> Did you really ask if I'm getting when am I getting hair implants? Okay. Let She's me see. very con. Did you really ask if I'm going when I get in here and plan. <laughs> That's her just mocking you. Sometimes she'll just repeat what you say and then make you feel stupid about the thing oh, you just said. So gosh. people keep asking what she can do. You can program in things for her to say, but you can also just ask her random questions, and I never know what she's going to say. Okay, what, which questions do you have for What her? do you want to ask? Um, she knows any. I bet she knows more about sports than any of you. Okay, why did Andrew Luck retire? Okay. Ask her that. Wait, hold on. Okay. Why did Andrew Luck retire? Yeah, yeah that's... Okay, so I'm going to put her in chat mode. Okay, uh-oh, look out. I know, oh. it's not great. Okay. Why did Andrew Luck retire? I don't know why it happened, <laughs> but we should try to figure it out. By the way... do a search. By that the way... That is deep. <laughs> she said that is deep. 
<laughs> that is deep. We should figure it out. By the way, that's automatically one of the most nuanced takes on the subject <laughs> in all of sports. You have no, you, I mean, that was already right there. Most than half of the sports talk community, more nuanced take. I. This is how I'm Bear learning Claw. about sports because you guys know that I, I suck at sports and every time I come on the show, I feel bad, but no, I can ask to. her anything and learn. Okay. Do you know Tom Brady? Okay. I'll try not to do that too much. Because <laughs> every time I ask her about Tom Brady, she talks too much about it. Okay. <laughs> Who is Tom Brady? Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. is an American football quarterback for the New England Patriots of the National Football League. <laughs> I oh, recommend fantastic. every woman that doesn't want to learn about so, sports get one of these, and she'll talk to your husband or oh, boyfriend about this so, stuff. Oh, Whitney Cummings here on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> Why? So, so I think I saw because I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, th this is really you. You got this done of yourself. Yeah. I mean, like I've how, aged. How did, I've lapped her. I now look like 50 years older than her already <laughs> somehow. So we're going to have to figure out a way she, to equal us out. She does have remarkable skin. She does. We um, got her made. Yeah. I basically thought it was going to be a joke. Like, you know, right. you live with a comic. It was like, I was talking about sex robots for like half an hour in the special. I went yes. down to the sex robot factory. So I was like, let me just make sure I'm not endorsing something really creepy. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Sure. Went down. They're like, do you want us to get one made of you? And I just got engaged and I don't have time to talk to him. Um, <laughs> and I was like, well, does it talk? Like, can it talk to people? Yeah. They're like, I was like, I'm in, add to cart. I never thought it would look this Add to cart. I thought it was going to look like a, like Chucky. Like I thought it was going to be <laughs> no. like a, a scarecrow, like crack whore. Like she can actually talk and do stuff. So I had her come out at the end of the special and do some comedy. Well, so how long did it take for you to actually sit for this thing? <sighs> I had to sit there with a thing plastered over my face for like, I think it was like three hours oh and I had to gosh. go a couple times and they had to do my teeth and my ears. Like I put it all at the end of the special. There's a little like teaser that explains how it was done. Right. Um, but her body's just like a dead corpse body. I mean, she can't really do much. Well, the jeans are very nice. They huh? said, oh, Have you felt her? I, you know what? These are words. <laughs> Come on. That are Time's not up for you. They're Come loaded. touch her. They're loaded. They're, that's a very loaded <laughs> She's charged. She's the whole thing. It's a whole, you know. It's, it feels like that my fiance, I left my fiance alone with her for like two days. First of all, he hates her. He's like, this is creepy. I don't like it. One of you is more than enough. Like he, it can't stand it. Yes. But one time I left him at home, uh, her at home with him and I came back, I was touring and he was like, I don't like her. We need to move her up uh, into the closet. Like, I, I don't want her out. And then he was like, but you know, her boobs like feel like boobs. I was like, what happened? <laughs> What happened while I was gone? <laughs> By the way, for the radio audience, the two shot of the two of you is absolutely freaky. I mean, it <laughs> Wait, is Wait, but she's a little unbelievable. Yeah, she's not sitting like you have wow. your legs crossed and everything like that, but <laughs> that is freaking me out right now. This is the future. It's happening. How could she's not Oh, but look, here's some other stuff that I can do. Okay. She's um not blinking and stuff. Normally she's looking around. I think I like screwed up with her. It's okay. Um, but she's um you know, she's fully functioning. She's has a full anatomy. Um, I'm willing to auction off her virginity. Uh, we're going to work on that at some point. <laughs> um, you can't afford it, Chris. Um, mm, but it's kind of cool. It's fair. like, I mean, specials now, you have to do something that's like memorable, you know? And I just want to do course. something that was kind of shocking. Why and are you not afraid of robots? Every single time I'm on Twitter and I see robots jumping and running and mm -hmm. opening doors and walking dogs, I'm thinking we are all dead. Well, she's basically a corpse. She can't do any of those things. Okay. okay. Oh. She, but see now she's not. <laughs> but see, way, look, I can get her. Fiance you know. programmed. Oh, hold on, something's wrong with her. Something's wrong with the Wi-Fi, so she's not hooked up. It's so all she's right. like any woman. She's giving us now the silent treatment because we made fun of her. So that's that. So your your fiance is now um, is is a is a Cubs fan, as you point out. Does that mean that you're now more into sports? I'm more into sports. I've been to some Cubs games. Okay, I was very good at going. <laughs> uh, I took lots of selfies and I posted them. Okay. I saw you out of the corner of my eye. Um, but that's it. But I'm learning about sports, and next time I come on the show, I'm gonna. Way, she's gonna be. You know, you don't have to come nope. here like you know, uh, all well, expert or anything like that. It's also such a bummer because I'm from D.C. My football team, you can't even say the name of them without being <laughs> racist. I don't even. Know. I think where do we land on changing the name of the Redskins? Ne I have pitches. Half past never. Well, because I, I, Dan Snyder does not want to change the name of the Redskins. Do you know, I, I, I've got the name for it if they want to. Washington Americans. Really? Yes. Yeah, so you don't even have to change the look. She's. <laughs> she's. Don't interrupt me.
patch um, in the middle of something. It's it, You don't even have to change the logo. No, but he doesn't want to change the logo because it says Redskins everywhere. What right. about just change it? You can keep half the logo and just change it to Foreskins. Hmm. Tell me people wouldn't tune in to see that mascot. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I just think that that's... That's got some issues with it. I don't know if you've really thought that completely through. She could not find an issue with it. So how about that? Is your robot okay over there? No, she she keeps talking. But Benton, will you come fix her, please? Because her face is not moving. She's got palsy. Who is this? She's not on Wi-Fi. Benton, is that his name? What's that? This is Benton, Benton, who helps me operate the robot. Benton, it's okay. So can you just make sure her face starts working? She's, you know, it's Benton good because is... everyone thinks I have Botox, and then I sit next to her, and they're like, oh, no, Whitney's face moves a lot. <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> what were we thinking? <laughs> Whitney is very animated. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I'm learning, but it's just frustrating because I need a team. Like, I, I would, I'm taking submissions really... on a football team to be a fan of. Well, you've got two here in Los Angeles now. One of them made it to the Super Bowl last year in the Rams. Do you think you that that charges? should be who I root for? Uh, Chris, I, what do I, you think? You uh, think Patriots. Well, well, no, I mean, I'm gonna, we're Rams season ticket holders, so yeah? you can jump on board. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, okay. half, half the time, if you want to go to the game, he's more than happy to sell you <laughs> his tickets <laughs> at double who's, face who's value so he doesn't go. Who is the most fun team <laughs> wow, true. that's the least stressed to support? Well, the Patriots, because they always make the Super Bowl, so you can just kind of write that in. But okay. she said least stressed. To least re- stressful team. We don't have to worry about the season. No you just owners know that are going to and... be in sex rings. Uh, okay, no well, f- players that are going to do yeah. sketchy things. We're definitely Cool out. colors. Here's Who- one. Here's one for you. I think you got the Rams. The LA Rams. Rams. Yeah. But yeah, where's the local. stadium? Is it in Inglewood? Yeah. Uh, it's going no, to be. No, thank you. You need wait till you see it on the way out of Is here. Is it nice? It's well, it's being built. Okay, when's well, it going to be done? In next year. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> I need a team now. Right now, okay. The Chargers are just down the Chargers. road. They're in Carson, which is ah. totally geographically oh, unsound. The Raiders for you. are moving to Las Vegas. Ra- Raiders are moving to Vegas. What a nightmare! That you know what Ra- that I could do. I have some old Raiders jerseys that are really cute that I got on Etsy. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. I like the black and white. I like the I like the colors. Do you play Vegas? Do you do there? I do Vegas quite a bit. Okay. I love playing in Vegas. I, I think we've stumbled on something. Do you think that the Raiders are going to do well in Vegas? Do you yes. think people want to yes. go see sports in oh Vegas? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my Definitely. god, can, can you imagine those crowds? What a nightmare! Have you ever done that Southwest flight, LA to Vegas on a Thursday night? <laughs> it's all like strippers and drunk gangs. Can you imagine going to a sport? Have you been to a sporting yeah, event the in Vegas? Fans. Yeah. <laughs> I think that you, we have. No, there's been really very few in Vegas, hmm. but I have not been to one. I would love to go to a football game in Las Vegas. Wow, I bet no the cheerleaders are going to be awesome. What do you think? Yeah. Don't you think? They might look to the like the one to your right. Now she's moving. She's oh, yeah. Now oh, she's up. Moving. She's back. She went off Wi-Fi. For, I think she just got bored of our conversation. So, oh, there she is. So you did your you did your show from your hometown <laughs> in Washington, D.C. I That's did. Cool. I did. I shot my special in Washington, D.C., and great. I had to specifically say to the audience, if anyone is in Redskins jersey, you're not allowed to be in the front two rows. Oh, my gosh. Because then I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> so we had to make a special announcement that was like, please, no Redskins jerseys, even though I grew up there. You're and what's their basketball team now? How's, how are they doing? The Wizards. Uh, oh, not God. too good. Not too good. Not great. No, but the Nats, the Washington Nationals might make the playoffs. Oh, that's good. So there you go. That's exciting. Yeah, I know. Okay, DC. As a matter of fact, the Nash, the Nats might play the Cubs for the right to in a one game elimination. This is wild gonna, card. I'm getting a divorce then. That this is not going <laughs> to go way, well. If if there is Free anything, I, look, I, I I don't. I'm not fully well versed in your relationship with your fiance. You're not. I am not. But I will say this. He doesn't follow you on Twitter. As, as a, wow. As a, as a, as a, I do follow no, on Twitter. Sorry. No, uh, but I, I will say this. As a sports fan, mm-hmm. if he is, this is the way you test your his love for you. Okay. That you start, if the Nats play it's the Cubs. It's not how much money you give me? Um, that's a starter. <laughs> okay. The Nats play the Cubs in the playoffs. You should, you should just show up. The day that it's on TV, because your fiance is getting ready to root for the Cubs. The season's on the line. Okay. This is it. This the, is it. The manager may not be back. It's. I mean, there's a lot going on. Okay. Here, okay. You show up full on <laughs> Nats jersey. Okay. Okay. Have it say Bryce Harper on the back because he left them. Okay. Okay. Is so it's an, extra, this down? it's an extra trolling thing. Okay. Show up in a Bryce Harper Nats jersey. Okay. And root for the Nats <laughs> like you've never rooted for anything before. Okay. Like it's the greatest, biggest thing in your life. Okay. Right in front of your fiance okay. as he's trying to focus and root for the Cubs. It it will be the biggest test of his relationship with you. Okay. He he might want to kick you out of the house right on the spot. I think it might be a bigger thing because his sister married a Rickett. 
Okay. So now this that's going to get kicked me out of the whole that family. Is, that is this is the whole family's the test ownership. Of if now this at is me. ownership. Here. <laughs> yeah, this is ownership. This could get very awkward. This could be like a major portrayal. If the game's in Wrigley, yeah, then you go with tickets. If I go and to show my up that way and show up that the, way yeah. with a Nats with jersey, a, on. a Harper Nats do you jersey, not just me? any Nats jersey. Yeah, yeah. how do you like? Yeah, me now? what are the vows? Sickness exactly. and health in World Series. And wild card do and us part. And in Nats jerseys, I do. Should I just show up at our wedding in a oh, Nats jersey? Do God. you still do? And again, I just, if you are going to do this, a Bryce Harper Nats jersey. Bryce it's Harper Nats. Be... Can someone write that down? Bryce yeah. Dallas Howard? I would say Benton's doing it, but right now he's trying to figure out why. Oh, nope. You're, you're, no, she's just having. She's a now blinking seizure. now. It yeah. is oh, she, freaking me she out. She does all sorts of. We got to work on y'all's Wi-Fi. Your the success of your robot's personality okay. is directly correlated to the strength of your Wi-Fi. And I don't understand. We're here at AT and T. And I mean, uh, Chris on? is is streaming. You've got mail on his computer, so <laughs> he's taking up all of the good Wi-Fi. It's a really so. good part. Dave Chappelle's in this movie. <laughs> he, Dave Chappelle is in. You've got mail. What? No. no. Okay. Now that's There's that's no the game. Way. Up. Very good. Is that true? I, I will bet you your doll's virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Words he's never said before. Uh, good to see you, Whitney Cummings. I love you, Rich. Thank you guys for right having me. Right back at you, Whitney Cummings. Can I touch it? Available now for streaming on Netflix. Come back anytime, please. Thank you. You got Thank it. You guys. And, and uh, bring your friend too. My dummy, as you called oh, it. Oh, gosh. It was that, who said that? TJ said <laughs> yeah, it? Uh-oh, look out. No, TJ. Uh, check it out again on Netflix, Whitney Cummings' new fourth stand-up special. We're back with more to set up the rest of the week. We're, we're all heading off to on, uh, on a flight. We'll tell you why and what's going on in the next couple days on The Rich Eisen Show. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.